Alright, let's see if this is where I'm supposed to go. I hope this is where I'm supposed to go. If this is, if this video you're watching starts at this point, then I guess this is where I'm supposed to go. So in that case, hello everyone, welcome back to Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. If you're not watching this, you can't respond to this, and I guess this was not the beginning. Dude, fuck off. You ruined my intro. That is very rude. Okay. By the way, for some reason I feel very strange today. Like, kind of dizzy and just weird and out of it, so... If I'm behaving differently... Weirdly... Um, that's why. Alright, looks like these lead to the same place. Now, have I been here? How come I can't hear... Yeah, you stopped me real good. Good job, I stopped to aim a shot at your head, and then I killed you. How come these carts, or whatever the hell they're called, how come they don't have any sound? I mean, I know WD-40 can work magic, but it's not that good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on, hold on. Eh. Ooh. There we go. I actually missed. I'm ashamed of myself. Alright, is this where I'm supposed to go? Have I been here before or not? I suspect I haven't. It won't open. Because it looks like this place is blocked off and can probably only be accessed from here. So I think I'm going the right way. Alright, shipping, floor access, and pressure control. Under pressure. Pressing down on me. Pressing down on you. I don't even remember if that's how the song goes. Hopefully it is. You can't open a cage door. And I have no key. Hmm. Can I shoot it? The lock is rusted with age. I won't be able to open it. Oh, I'm not even supposed to go in there. I can't even open it. Alright, this is definitely new. Yes, okay, this is where I'm supposed to go. Pressure release valve. It's a valve for releasing pressure. Yes, pressure release valve. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, now there's a loading screen? This game has loading screens in the strangest places. Why was there a loading screen when I used the pressure release valve? <sighs> it won't open. It's probably a, a holdover from the fact that this game came out on Xbox. The original Xbox, the first one. Not Xbox One. No, very confusing. It came out on Xbox. Which, um, I don't know how much memory it had, but it was very, very small. So they probably had to subdivide the levels into tinier bits, is my guess. Ah! That pressure release valve seems to have rerouted the steam. Great! In other words, now I can go deeper, but I can't go back out. Yeah, that's great. Sounds wonderful. Nothing can go wrong with going deeper into the place from which I heard horrible screams and people dying from, right? No. See, look, nothing could go wrong. See? This person's perfectly fine. That actually is really disgusting. Can you imagine being boiled alive by steam? Oh my god. That would not be a quick death. That would be an extraordinarily unpleasant death. Probably akin to burning alive, I would Im imagine. I mean, flames or, or steam, it's it's all heat. Who is that? Is that one of them or one of the FBI? I think it's one of them. What was that? Wait, really? They can shoot through the grating? Um, bullshit. I call hacks. Seriously, that is complete bullshit. You could not shoot through there. No way. Maybe the occasional stray bullet would kind of get through, but most of them would either be stopped or just 
misdirected and plink off to the side. Alright, how hurt am I? Nah, I've got plenty of... I mean, I'm not hurt because I just healed, but I have plenty of supplies left. I'm good. I'm good. There's really no reason to use stealth in this game at all. I mean, I have so much ammo, and it's so easy to kill them. This game's actually too easy, um, at least in the general combat area. And it's actually too hard in many of the sequences. It's a very strange game. It really is bizarre. Floor access bucket control. It's locked. Of course. Floor access or processing. It's locked. Hey, dude, what's up? Goodbye. Alright, what do we have here? Ammo just laying on the ground for some reason. It's a very strange place to store ammo. Other than that... Uh, nothing? I think? This must be the main mechanism for driving war buckets around the track. This must be the main mechanism for driving war buckets around the track. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything to do in there. So, wait, if I don't go there, where do I go? Have I gone everywhere down here yet? That's locked. Next one's locked. Is there anywhere else? Oh yeah, that's locked. Okay, I can keep going. Smelting. It won't budge. Or transit, please. Ah, thank you. They're so easy to kill. I hear someone. Ah. I don't think I killed them. This is a very bad weapon to use at range, and I shouldn't have even been able to shoot through this stuff. Or, no, actually I think I did kill him. It's locked. Water storage. Oh yeah, I remember this place. I jumped off of the thing up there and fell to my death in one of my attempts. I think that was off camera though, so you probably didn't see it, but um, yeah, that was fun. Kinda hurt when I broke all of my legs and all of my ribs, and all of my everything, and crumpled to a pile of mush on the ground. Didn't feel good. Nope. Alright, I guess the only way to go is up. Oh, I'm actually on the belt. Hmm. Jesus, you scared me, man. I was not at my best when aiming at that person. But who cares? I have 39 shots of that, 47 of the revolver. Oh my god. I don't even need to use this weapon to save ammo. I just use a revolver. Alright, one way to go. One Direction. Is that the name of a shitty band? One Direction? I think it is. I'm not even sure. I'm kind of glad I don't know. Oh god. Oh 
Oh, that just happened right now. Oh. That is disgusting. Upper grinder. That is a bad way to go. Thankfully pretty quick, but still. Oh my god. There's the exit right there, let me out. Won't open. Oh, Tommy gun. Alright, well obviously they're very nearby because they just killed him in front of- well, not in front of me, above me. It doesn't look as if this machinery has been used in some time. <laughs> I get to go to the same place he just went. Yeah, I'm not walking there. I'm walking back. Hmm. This is disturbingly long. Yep, I don't like long hallways. They always lead to bad things in horror games. Stop right there, Marsh. Goodbye, Mr. Walters. Oh shit, I... Wow, okay, I cannot run fast enough to go back. Okay, I vaguely remember this. Um, I think I need to run and jump. Oh my god, I can go fast. And jump! Nice and, nice and slow. Your plan was unsuccessful. Now I'm coming to smash your face in. I'm supposed to take you in alive. But I don't really care. And I think all the FBI might be dead, so I don't even think they care anymore either. Because they're probably dead. And dead people can't care about anything. Because they're dead. Oh, running away, are you? Ah. <sighs> Gone before I could get a shot off. <laughs> it controls the conveyor belt that transports ore down to the grinder. I don't need to use it. No, I don't. Hey! Anyone else? I could even... Oh, no, I didn't headshot a moving target. Damn it. Ah. Come on. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Anyone else? Another one, huh? Oh, shit, are they... They're not, like, spawning in unlimitedly, are they? Okay, I think they might be coming in unlimitedly, because they, they just keep coming.
Are they gonna keep coming? Okay, I'm just gonna go. Okay. Yeah, I thought that happened. You hold it. Let me aim. Yeah. No scope of that fool. Don't shoot me, please. I have a feeling they're going to keep coming unless I leave, so I'm just going to leave. Okay, yeah. See, that's another one of those overly scripted sequences. He's disappeared. I'm pretty sure they just keep coming unless you leave. How dumb is that? It doesn't make any sense. It's, ri it's ridiculous. Like, you don't know... When you, when you have some times where it's scripted and you can't kill all of the enemies and they just keep coming, and then other times where you can kill all of the enemies, which is most of the time, it means you don't know what to expect. You can't... Like, you can't use logic to figure out what's going to happen. Right? The game has communicated to you previously that you can clear out a room and you're done, and then it starts communicating to you that you can clear out a room and you're not done. So you don't know which one it's doing at any particular time. Not to mention, it's just ridiculous because it doesn't make any sense to have spawning enemies just keep coming in. There can't be unlimited people in this factory. Just this, this game has many flaws and that is one of them, overly scripted. All right, can I go this way? Shipping. Shipping and administration, this is receiving. It's locked, nope. Elevator control, that sounds good. What's down here first, though? Administration, okay, looks like they lead into each other. Shipping. Alright. Check out elevator control first. Ooh. How much do I have? Well, I have entirely too much ammo. Aha, this must be the main generator for the elevator. Elevator power. This should get the elevator running again. Excellent. A few scattered forms lie on the table, but nothing important. Looks like a secretary's desk. This must be the Marsh family office. Hmm. There's gotta be some juicy secrets in here. Letter from Sebastian Marsh. My dear family, I expect to return home shortly. I look forward to seeing you all again. I believe my trip has been a fruitful one. I've met with many potential buyers for our product. And as I predicted, met with few concerns. All are aware that history is written by the victor, and that treaties and laws, laws must bow to the fact of conquest. And what, indeed, is so moral about a bullet or a bomb that sets them above other means of death? I shall speak with you all further upon my return. I shall have much to say to Robert in particular. It is of the utmost importance that our personal beliefs and agendas remain subordinate to the overall good of the family and the town. As the time draws ever closer, it becomes more imperative that we act as one. If he is unwilling to do so, he must be compelled for all our sakes. In particular, he must remove his beast to another part of the refinery without delay. My love and blessings are upon you all. And some sort of a cthulhu -y prayer thing. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I mean, Dagon and Hydra, obviously. Not sure how that is pronounced. He must remove his beast to another part of the refinery without delay. Great, so there's a beast in here. A newly relocated beast. Oh, it's a letter from Sebastian Marsh. It just so happens, I know, I remember what the beast is. 
It's a lovely, lovely beast. You're gonna like it. Trust me, everyone. You are going to love it. You're gonna want to have one as your very own pet. Alright, back out to the main place. So now I need to get down. Let me see what's over here first, though. Elevator maintenance access. I don't think I need to go there yet, do I? Hmm. This hatch must provide maintenance access to the elevator shaft. Yeah, there's no reason to do that yet. But I might as well save. How do I get down? Seriously, how do I get down? Can I fall? No. I see stairs there. Ah. You have learned a new skill. Using stairs. Congratulations! Okay, where's... The hell is his name? Hoover? Where's Hoover? Okay, I guess I get to go down all on my own. To do something? What am I doing down here, even? I don't know, let's go. Somewhere. Foundry. Floor 2. Or sub-floor 2, I guess. This is an awfully big elevator. Many things could happen on a big elevator. But in this case, nothing happened. Gold processing. Gantry access, floor access. Kill him, man. Jesus. Alright, this gun sucks. Screw the shotgun. Yeah, that's better. The shotgun is going to do nothing but get you killed. As you agonizingly wait for it to reload, and it doesn't even seem to do that much damage. Alright, let's heal up. Okay. Ammo is looking, once again, extremely good. Don't even need to worry about it. Gold processing. It's full of waste. The lockers are empty. It won't budge. Of course. Alright, gantry access. We go. I don't even know what a gantry is, but I'm accessing it. Don't let him throw. Cut him down. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be doing the ones cutting. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm the one cutting. Your face with my bullet. Hello, deep one. Goodbye, deep one. What's it even say? Cooling... Bays. Cooling bays? Gold purification, gold casing, smelting. Hmm. Let's go this way. The lockers are empty. It won't open.
just some old canisters. Nothing useful. It really is amazing just how much detail they added to the... the examine the environment and, you know, hear about it. I, wow, that's a bad description of it. What would you call it? The environmental examination mechanic in the game? It's, it's amazing how much detail they added to it. Like, I mean, you look at this room and everything looks pretty static, right? Like, you can't really interact with anything. anything. But they've actually added descriptions for so much of this stuff. Like, even this. Here, I bet this has a description. There's nothing of interest inside. Yeah, waste bin. It's full of waste. And this. Just some old canisters. Nothing useful. Do these pallets have a description? Nope. Pipes? Nope. This machine? This small unit must be part of the refinery ventilation system. Yeah, look at this. Just think of how much work they actually had to put into this. To have detailed descriptions and audio recordings for pretty much anything of even moderate significance in the environment. And there's nothing to even indicate that you can actually examine it. Which is kind of surprising. You'd think they'd want to, I don't know, hint it somehow or something. You know, something to tell you that you can actually hear a description of it. But yeah, look at all the detail they put into the environment. It's very cool. I'm impressed. Look, I bet these have their own description. Never mind, they don't. <laughs> Still, my point stands. What about this? It's the main ventilation system. Mm-hmm. It's very adventure gamey, which I like. Oh god, it's gotta be really hot in here. Oh, though I think that's gold, and gold does melt at a fairly low temperature, but still. It melts at a relatively low temperature, but it doesn't exactly melt at body temperature. It's not exactly M&M's. Alright, so where can I go? Two ways, right? Yeah, down there. Oh, they both go to the same place. Doesn't even matter. Ooh, safe. We've just about had enough of your meddling in Innishmouth affairs. It was my pleasure to inconvenience you, Marsh. After you've watched your copper friend here die, I'm coming after you! Shoot him! Shoot the screwy bastard! Jack! Hurry up, Jack! Here. Do something for Christ's sake! Shut up, Quickly, Jack! Jack. No time like the for you, Mr. Walters, we've just about had enough of your for meddling Christ's sake, in Innishmouth just shoot him! Affairs. It was my pleasure to inconvenience you, Marsh. After you watch your copper friend here die, I'm coming after you. Shoot him! Shoot the screwy bastard! Can I have control? Hurry the hell up, Jack! Can I have control Hurry at? at can I have control Hurry at any point of this? Now. I'm gonna fucking die here, Jack! Uh. Hurry up! Kill him now! What the fuck? I was in a cutscene for- did I lose? You are d what? I was in a cutscene for that entire thing, I couldn't do anything. What? The game bugged out and kept me inside of the cutscene, what the fuck? Let's try that again? Thank you, game. What the hell just happened? Okay, I'm gonna skip it. Maybe that'll work. Maybe. I'd like to point out that I could kill him right now, right here, but for some reason he doesn't. Look, I mean, his head's just sitting right there. I've, I've shot people at twice the distance in the head and killed them. I could do it right now, but he doesn't for some reason. Alright, skip. Okay, now it works. Oh god, I am going fucking insane. Holy shit. Wow. 
Wow, hard to aim. Oh my god, I've lost my sanity completely. Well, I need to stop you from... Kill him now! I'll kill him when I'm near the controls, okay? I think you might be scripted to not be able to go up there until you kill him. Let's try that again. What a time to lose your sanity, huh? Right when I need to aim. And skip. Jack, hurry up, Jack. Wait, this time I didn't lose my sanity? What? Quickly, Jack! Uh, is he dead? Did I kill him? Hurry the hell up, Jack! We're on a time limit here. I apparently killed him. Hurry up! You know, I'd really like to have him I'm die because I hate him. Die here, Jack. You tortured me, you Hurry son of a bitch! Ooh, that was too close. Um, he's still going down. Okay, okay. <sighs> you have my fullest gratitude, Walters. You'd make a first-rate agent. Too bad you got that stinking attitude. A lousy night of torture can really grate on a man's mood. If your aim was as sharp as your wit, then Marsh wouldn't have gotten away. Your orders were to take him alive, not blow his brains out. That was before the crazy psychopath tried to kill me. Besides, he left his briefcase by the controls. There's probably enough evidence in there to sanction a full-scale rape. So I couldn't care less if you bring him back in small boxes. Just get the bastard. Okay, I'd just like to point out how ridiculous this is. I mean, this is some serious, like, spy movie... Like, old-school spy movie ridiculous... Uh, absurd... Evil... Planned thing. I don't even know the right terms to describe this, but I mean, come on. He's he put him inside of a cage that is slowly being lowered into a vat of. Well, I mean, it's probably not technically lava, but basically like lava, you know, hot metal, whatever. Something that's gonna burn him. That is so absurd. It's ridiculous. Why didn't he just push him in or shoot him? He had a gun. Why didn't he just shoot him if he wanted him to die? What's the point? Damn it. Marsh must have locked it behind him. Alright, so where do I go? Not there. Here? I guess. I haven't been here before. I'm really feeling like being so close to this thing would burn my face off, but I'm not really sure. Something just came down the elevator shaft. Just came down the elevator shaft. Won't open. It won't budge. All right, where the hell am I going now? Chemical storage. Uh, what's that noise? That doesn't sound good. Okay, there's a bunch of different ways I can go. Where do I need to go, though? I don't think it's safe for me to stand in here. Where does this go? Where am I? Too many pathways. Dear God. Where is this? It's locked. 
I just run around into a circle until I run around in a circle until I find something. Can I actually get up there? No, but it looks like you can come out of there. This machinery does not sound like it's running very well. It sounds like it's about to break. Alright, let's check out chemical storage. Okay, that leads nowhere. I don't like that noise. Electrolysis, main access. Further down. Let's save the game, yeah. Maintenance access. Oh, oh god. It's, it's near. I think I was just there. I was just there. It's, it's looking for me. Oh god. It is hot on my heels. this scene. Oh, I freaking love this scene. Look at that thing. What the hell is that? By the way, I don't even remember what I need to do, so I'm probably gonna die. Uh... Okay, I'm going absolutely insane, and I'm staring at some bizarre creature with tentacles and mouths and like a two dozen eyes. And I need to kill it, and I'm going insane. Oh god. The machinery must have overloaded and blown the fuse. Okay, so I need to shock it to death, but I need to repair it. There's no power going to the electrodes. Blown fuse. The smell of burning metal. Okay, so I need a replacement, I think. I can't. I don't even have my weapons. Even if I did, what the hell could I do to kill it? Oh god! Ow! This looks like a reasonable hiding It won't budge. Stay back, you tentacly bastard! Oh god! I could go down there. I don't think I. Oh! I don't think I want to. Okay, go, go, go.
Do I have any choice? I can't go across. No, I can't go across. I gotta go down. Okay, heal, heal. We're gonna have to go down. Oh god, oh god, I can't see anything. Okay, go. Fuck you, let me pass. Oh god, it's not gonna let me pass. Or is it? Nope. Ah. The hell can I go? I have no weapons. It's no use. It needs a new fuse. The fuse is blown. Shit. I could try to go straight, but what's the well yeah, what's the point? I can't get past that thing. Nope. It just broke my leg. I think maybe I need to distract it. I, I think I need to have it swing and then go down below. Yep, swing, swing, swing. Yes, yeah, oh, oh no. No, no, that, that didn't work. That did not work. What the hell do I do? I gotta get moving. I would like to. Do I have anything that could help me? No, none of this is gonna help me. Oh, hi. Oh, where did it go? It was hiding. I might be able to use that to my advantage if I could figure out where the hell it went. I'm losing my sanity. Okay, what if I just watch it for a bit? Maybe it'll go away? To a resting position? Is there some, like, obvious place I can go that I'm missing? Yeah, I don't have anything on me that I can use. No, my weapons. They took all my weapons. It's not going away. Come on, you bastard, attack. Oh, that was close. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um. The machinery must have overloaded and blown the fuse. There's nothing I can do here. It's a housing unit for the main fuse. It's blown. Oh. Okay, I'm just going for it again because I don't I don't know what the hell else to do. Well, I'm 90% dead. Can it even attack me here? Well, I'm burning through all of my medical supplies, all of it. This is not good. I don't remember what to do. Smart. Come on, attack. Okay, please don't attack. Never mind, I take that back. Seriously, what do I do? I have no idea. Like, there's very little I can interact with. I have no weapons. None of the things I can use do anything. There's no ladders I can access, because I think he's blocking me. I tried to distract it, it didn't seem to work. Wait, it's gone again. Where did it go? I don't know, but I'm going. What the fuck? Where did it go? I don't understand. Where d I don't know where it went. I, wh what? Why did it disappear? Don't question it. I, I'm through. I don't know what just happened. Oh god. 
Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah! Fuck you! Jack Walters might be the most resilient man alive. I've had my leg broken about 50 times. Wait, is attacking is hitting me from here? Are you kidding? Hmm, this must activate the vat pump. Oh shit, am I out of Oh god, I'm out of medical stuff. Oh no. I don't see that improving its mood. Wait, did I press it? I I think I actually pressed it. I just moved it. I don't want it back over here. Apparently I pressed the button without even realizing it. Alright, I just sucked it up into the next place. I didn't kill it, I just moved it. Which probably did nothing but piss it off. Now it's going to be even more angry at me. Not good. This is never gonna end. I'm gonna die. There's something following me. Oh, oh my god. I seriously need a medical kit. Like, really, really bad. Oh god. The only way to go is past the staring eyes. Oh my god, look at that thing. Don't look at that thing. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, okay, I'm best. I'm best. Ah, you again. Shit. I think I'm gonna die. I oh god, I don't have any. Okay, just go, just go, just go. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was gonna happen. I'm I'm just out of medical stuff. All right. Well. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I will be right back when I've gotten back to about that point again. All right. So now I'm back to pretty much where it was before. I just sucked it into the other place. This time without taking a single point of damage. So I have all of my medical supplies. And by the way, you have to go through like two minutes of unskippable cutscenes and walking to get back to this point. Again, this game is overly scripted and things play out like movie scenes where you're supposed to do exactly what it expects you to do. And if you don't do it, you're screwed and you have to go way back and repeat a bunch of stuff. It's really frustrating. So yeah, I, I still love this game. I knew this game had this problem, so this is not unexpected. It's a game that is really good in many ways and really bad in some other ways. Like, what I mean about this being like a movie scene where the director wants you to play it out one way and if you don't you're screwed, is this. I just realized as I came back here, what you need to do to get that tentacle thing to go away, to allow you to go down here, what you need to do is hide behind here, where he says, hey this would make a good hiding space, hiding spot. You need to wait here for like five seconds or something, and then it goes away. If you hide anywhere else, it doesn't seem to work. Even if you hide here, it doesn't seem to work. You have to hide exactly where the game thinks you should hide for it to disappear. You know, the director has a, a scene in their mind, right? Person hides behind a box. The thing goes away because it thinks the person's gone. Person runs out of box, out of cover from the box, and then goes down here. It's... it's ridiculous. Okay. Now, how do I get past this section? I don't know. I know you go straight and go past this lovely thing. Hi! I just love the character designs. Uh, or creature designs, I guess. Go, go, go! Alright, go, go, go. It's this next part that I don't know about. Okay, uh, run really fast is apparently how you get past it. Bye. <laughs> wow, okay. Whew. Now what? I'm not done, that's for sure. Nope, we're going right back up. 
There's a glass window there. Something tells me it's gonna break through. Nothing it is. Yep. Ah. Nothing of interest here. It won't budge. Just stay to the wall. Oh, all right, fuse. fuse. Can't see anything of use. Okay, gotta go all the way back now. Oh god, I have to go all the way back. Oh no, 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 no. Am I hurt at all? No, alright. This is going to be a bitch. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yeah, come over here. Don't attack me. Okay. Yeah. Stupid thing. I really do like the creature designs. I think they're brilliant. Okay, run really, really fast. Really, really fast. Okay. Good so far. Good so far. Past the lovely eyes. Hi. Okay, okay, I'm safe for now. I'm safe. Now I think we're gonna need to suck it back. A blown fuse. That should fix the problem. Perhaps a touch more stimulation is needed. Oh no, I can actually shock it there. Okay, I thought I'd have to suck it back in. Whew, okay. Apparently you can shock it in both tanks. Thank God. It's turned back into a goo. Good. It's much better as a goo, even if it is a disgusting, disturbing, writhing goo. At least it's not a tentacly goo that's trying to kill me. I really, really do like the creature designs. And also the sanity effects. Or the insanity effects, I guess you, I, you could say. Sometimes subtle, like right now. I think I'm suffering from a bit of insanity right now. Kind of looks a little fisheye-y. It's hard to tell. But it gets really, really extreme in some cases, and I like that. I really like... I really like it when your screen is just distorted. In horror games. When, when they make it really hard to see. I really like it. It won't budge. It's locked. Here we go. Alright, are we finally done with this place? Actually, no, I guess we're not. We still need to get the guy, don't we? Yep, need to shoot him. The door is bolted shut. Oh, God. <laughs> the goo is... Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. The goo is not done with me. Wow, it, I did not remember that scene. It still wants to kill me. The goo still wants to kill me. Son of a bitch. It's been turned into a goo, but it can still move. And it can still hate. Alright, I think I need to lock... I think I need to close it behind me. Yeah. That. Yep, okay, it's locked for now. Locked for now. I can't close that. I think it's coming. Oh yeah, it's coming. It is coming. Okay, up, up. Yes, yes, yes. It can't go up, right? Not too much. Right? 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 Can it come up? I hear it. It's locked. Okay, I think I'm okay. Okay, I'm okay. Oh. I just love the set pieces in this game. They're so cool. Even if they're often overly scripted and don't work out very well. They're really cool. I mean, having to, like, suck out and electrocute this gigantic cylindrical goo monster with tentacles and a couple dozen eyes is just so awesome. And then being chased 
by the goo after you electro electrocuted it. It's locked. They're just really awesome scenes that I've just I had never seen before in a game and haven't seen anything like them since. Okay, I'm safe. Just so cool. It's locked. Yeah, I'm not going back in there. Alright, I could go up. Uh, what the hell's up there, though? Doesn't look like anything. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. What is that noise? Sounds like something's scraping on, on the outside of... Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. I love this game so much. Let's just close that door behind me. Oh, this hatch is blown off. Uh, isn't this stuff gonna burn me? Oh no, it's not the burning goo, it's a different... Oh, no, it is the burning goo, okay. Let's heal myself then. Oh, another one. Yeah, yay. I love air ducks. They've gone so well for me in the past. Yep. How does it know where I am? is this thing? I can't pick it up. Alright, where the hell do I go now? It's locked. Oh, oh god, can I leave? Oh no, oh no. Something tells... Oh god, if it's coming after me, it's gonna come after me in the freaking lift. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I gotta get out of here now. It is so gonna come after me in this lift. It's gonna come after me in this lift. Right? Right? Let's take a look down. Oh god, yep, yep, yep. It's pulling me down. It's pulling me back down. Maybe just pressed a button, I don't know. Wait, what? I'm supposed to do something? Uh... Okay. Interesting. Are you serious? See, that is what's really wrong with this game. I have to go through all of those air ducts again to, to get back to that scene. Are you serious? Wow. Okay, I'll cut to when I'm back to the elevator. Alright, let's try this elevator again, shall we? Um, but before that, what am I going to be doing? Like, how do I... Whatever, uh, the thing crushed the elevator, so I need to get out. Or stop it or something, so... Emergency door release. So I need to press that button and then... What, go out the door? I guess, I mean, what else can I do? 
There's some boxes and some buttons, and that's it. All right. I gotta get out of here now. All right, so I need to wait until that thing starts flashing, and then I guess I need to leave. So does this thing stop, like, in front of a, a door? No, that's not a door. I mean, there's nothing for me to do right now. Ah, this is taking too long. Oh, oh, it's slowing it down, but we're... Okay, 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 I see, I see. I see, I see, I get it. Okay. I got it. Ah, Mr. Walters. I see you made it at last. Seems Marsh managed to give you the slip. Fortunately, we had him picked up as he tried to flee. The Order of Dagon will make you pay for this over. I am Cthulhu. I am Dagon. Get this ugly bastard out of my face, Agent Hopper. Yes, sir. Come on, Marsh. Move it. Hoover, you got to evacuate the building. There's something down there. All in good time. We found a key in Marsh's possession. A key he was most reluctant to give up. It must have been for the elevator panel, giving access to an additional floor at the very foundation of this refinery. All my agents are busy planting explosives to flatten this place to the ground. I want you to find a way down there and check it out. Not a chance. I already told you, there's something down there. I barely got out alive. I made it clear back at the asylum, Mr. Walters. I don't make requests. Okay, but I'll be needing another gun. Oh, great. Thank you, Hoover. Now, uh, Hoover, please remind me again why I saved you from being burned alive inside of that cage. Hmm? Why did I save you? Oh yeah, for no reason. I should have let you fucking die, you prick. Hey, at least I have a pistol and nothing else. Is the elevator even operable? Alright, um... Do I just... Go to the elevator? That drop wrecked the elevator. That's what I thought. Okay, I think maybe I go up here. Not that the game gives you any reason to believe this, but since I've already played the game, I'm pretty sure this is what I do. Indeed it is. Even though you have no reason to believe that you need to go here, or that this thing even exists. Thankfully, I already know it. Oh god, heights. Alright. Here we go. Um. Uh, Jack? Jack? You, you might want to use your hands to grab the thing. Let's try that again, shall we? I do grab... Wait. Or do I use the... No? The ladder doesn't go all the way down. No, I need to grab it. Okay. Oh my god. I can't even see the rope. Or whatever this is. The fuses are primed. You've got 20 minutes before this place blows. Move! Oh yeah, did I mention? This whole sequence is timed. Okay, um... It's gonna blow at... Uh... 44. Yep, 44. On my timer that I have running. 44, I'm gonna write that down. 44. So I know how much time I have left, because it doesn't tell you. Come on, come on. There is a ladder there, but nah, I'm just gonna keep going. I really do love the distortion effects. Holy shit, is that gold bars? Strange. 
The gold is an odd whitish color. Whitish color? Hmm. Why? It's weird. Ow. I just broke my fucking leg. Ow. That looks painful. Damn you, Hoover! It's a secret gold vault. This must be where the marshes hoard their wealth. That's why I didn't want to give up the key. But why is the gold an odd whitish color? I mean, is it actually pure gold? Because if it's not, then how could they, like, sell it, you know? I mean, what would... What would buyers think? Strange. The gold is an odd whitish color. I gotta remember, I'm on a timer, so I need to go. Ow. I won't be able to get through this way. I have, um, uh, 18 minutes of- Ah, damn it! I have about 18 minutes. Alright, Gold Vault A, this one looks good. Come on, come on! Okay. Let's move fast. Nothing over there, nothing over there. Let's go this way. Let's go up the ladder. Alright, I can stay on this floor or I can go down. Let's go on this floor before going down. Oh, great! More of this shit. The blobby tentacle thing. Oh my god. Fuck you. Gas flow control. Close open. It won't open. Gas flow control in this one doesn't have a handle, of course. It's a valve for controlling the flow of gas. Gas flow control. Mm-hmm. This pressure valve controls the flow of gas. Excellent. So I can turn that off and then go through, right? Do I have an opening? I do, okay. Alright, let's wait for the bastard to come back. Or maybe it's gonna stay like that. Alright, let's go, let's go. Oh no, 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 no. It does not like the gas, which means I like the gas a lot. Because anything it doesn't like, I like. Ugh. Alright, this one's missing too. Is this one... And this one is also missing. Ah. Gold Vault B. Once again, I can go down if I want. Let's stay on this level. I have about 14 minutes left. Alright, what's in here? The clock's ticking. I really don't have time to steal gold. No shit. I'm not trying to steal gold. I'm trying to figure out what's in here. Is there anything in here? There's gotta be something in here. Okay, okay. More gold, more gold. I've got to find something other than gold. Something worth a damn down here. That's right. I need to find something worth a damn down here other than millions and billions and trillions of dollars in gold. Other than that, I need to find something of value. Okay, that goes up. Oh my god, there's too many places to go. 14 minutes. Clock is ticking. And there's over there. 
Can I open this? No, I can't. Okay. Let's go sideways a bit. Figure out what's here. Where does this go? Ugh. Okay, let's not go that way. That's the ground floor of that beast thing. I can go up. And I can go up the stairs as well. Let's go up the stairs. Nothing? Nothing. Alright, let's go up. A different way. Gold Vault B. Wait, did I just come up here? Did I just come down from here? I'm confused now. Where the hell am I? Okay, I don't know. Um, let's go on the ground floor. Because I feel like I need to do that. I remember going there. When I last played, so let's do that. Alright, that part of it's dead, thankfully. Ah. Oh god, I hear it smashing something. Oh shit. Go. Go. Did I? Oh my god. Where do I start from? Where? Where is this? Oh, god, it's when I first came down. Alright, I'm gonna cut to when I get back there. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? So it's gonna come behind me, right? Let's, uh, hang out here. Oh, great. That's gonna kill me. Okay, okay. Okay, I made it past. Good, 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 good. Whew. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay, I'm safe. Heal? Um, oh, wow, I'm not even hurt. Okay. Ugh. The body's cold. He must have been dead for some time. Yeah, it's rotting. The body's cold. He won't need this anymore. Alright, so I can use that for those valves that don't have the handles, I think. Wow, I'm losing my mind again. Just listen to my heart rate. Okay, is that the only way to go? Button. No button. The door's bolted shut. Okay, so using those valves will allow me to do what? Kill it? I don't know, let's find out. It's not gonna like that. Although it doesn't seem to really do... It doesn't even seem to really be touching it. Alright, let's get to the other side. Scream for me. Hmm, what is that doing? I mean, what kind of gas is this? I don't even know what kind of gas this is. Okay, I just did that. Why? Okay, highly flammable. Do I need to shoot the gas? Wouldn't that kill me? Um... Do I have, like, I'm not, I'm, I don't know what to do next. Okay, I obviously need to ignite it, but how? Hmm. 
This is going to be a problem. And I don't have that much time. I've got, I don't know, like 12 to 14 minutes, I think. The door's bolted shut. Alright, what the hell do I do? I need to ignite it. It's flammable gas. Ignite it with what? My weapon doesn't do the job, so I need something else. Strange. The gold is an odd whitish color. Alright, let me unbolt this. There we go. Going this way leads to the ground floor again. Do I want to do that? I guess it's the only way to the other side. Maybe I just need to get that third one, the fourth one going, you know, the fourth gas. That's probably what I need to do, so I'm gonna go here again. Oh god. Yeah, wow. It's pissed off. Uh, can I even hide anywhere? Okay. Okay, nice and fast. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, I think this is what I need to do. I think I need to get that fourth gas going. I don't know why. I don't know I don't know why you need four gas things going instead of three. Doesn't seem like it'd make that big of a difference, but that's probably what I need to do. Okay, number four, here we go. Now what? I don't get it. What do I do? I don't understand. It won't budge. It's highly flammable. And I'm losing my mind. Like, am I done? No, I mean, Hoover wanted me to go down here to find something, unless... Well, maybe I do need to go. Maybe I'm just setting that up so that when the bombs go off, it explodes? Like, maybe I'm done? I can hear them calling to me. I don't know. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait! I think I just remembered what to do! Yes, 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 yes! Thank God I've played this game before, because if you have not played this game, you will be fucked. The door! I think the door sparks when you try to open it, the one that's blocked off. Yeah! Yes! 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 Look, you can see the gas! Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Um, I might need to run. Uh, yeah, am I gonna need to run? Where am I gonna run? I guess I should just go down. Yeah, I'm just gonna go down. Go, 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 go! Oh, never mind. I'm fine. Alright, I've got like 12 minutes or something like that. Well, that cleared that son of a bitch out. I don't think it's going to be coming for me again. But now where do I go? It must have been blocking a door. Right, yep, 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 it was. Okay, apparently it's bulletproof glass. Wouldn't expect bulletproof glass in a refinery, but okay. I don't think that's standard issue. Um... Hoover, I think I found something. Did this just turn into a temple? God, I love this game. Oh, no. <laughs> I just got locked in.
See, it's moments like these that make me love this game, and that completely and utterly outweigh all of the problems it has. This game is just brilliant in so many ways. Okay, I can move it. The plaque is engraved with text written in some kind of ancient language. Alright, well I only have like 10 minutes. Interesting. Alright, well it doesn't take a genius to figure out what I need to do. Gotta get it hit get it to hit that gem. Almost. That should do it. Success? Was that uh, it looked like it hit it. Maybe it was slightly off. Let's try that again. No, now it doesn't work. Okay, so yeah, I'm, what did that do? I don't understand. What did that do? It. Staring at the statue is making my head pound. Okay, it doesn't work any more. Oh, I can take it. What the fuck are you doing down here, Hoover? At last, we found you. Oh, you're not Hoover. It's nice of you fellas to show up. What the hell is this place? It's some sort of shrine, probably used by the marshes for private worship. And the oversized gargoyle? That's no gargoyle, Agent. That's Cthulhu. Fellas! This chamber's about to be buried under four floors of brick and metal. Okay, Walters, let's get out of here before this place blows. I'd just like to point out that those two FBI people seem to have the exact same faces. And, ah, good. It's being blown up. Although I'd like to know how the FBI is going to, or Hoover, how Hoover is going to justify to the FBI blowing up billions and trillions of dollars of gold. Seems kind of like a bad idea, but I mean, I know personally it's a good idea, but it just seems kind of hard to justify. Like, how do you justify blowing up an entire building? Like, what do you, what do you write? Sorry, I had to blow it up because of stuff and Cthulhu in the basement. The end? Signed, Hoover? <laughs> like, how do you justify blowing up a building? Seriously. The Order of Dagon, February 9th, 1922. Night. That was one big explosion in the, re in the refinery. One moment I was running for my life, the next, I was face down with a mouthful of dirt. I just hope everything inside was destroyed. What the hell was that thing in there? Some kind of monster jellyfish? How could it move out of water? How could it even exist? My ears are still ringing with the screams of Hoover's men as the acidic slime engulfed them. Despite the casualties, though, the raid hit pay dirt. The feds recovered a briefcase with some very incriminating papers. It seems that, among other things, the Marsh family, Sebastian in particular, has been trafficking with enemies of the state. He's been offering a contagion, some kind of germ weapon, to the highest bidder. This is in violation of all kinds of international treaties, but that didn't surprise me. Even if the Marshes care about such things, which I doubt, I could well believe that news of the treaties hadn't ever reached Innsmouth. But I know there's more to the story, like that shrine on the lower floor of the refinery. The carvings of those hideous gods are one more thing that will probably haunt my dreams for some time to come. Why did they seem familiar? In any case, the evidence of arms dealing gave Hoover what he needed to bring in the big guns. Literally. Innsmouth is now under martial law. A Coast Guard cutter is stationed in the harbor with a company of Marines on shore. Led by Robert Marsh, the surviving members of the Esoteric Order of Dagon are holed up in the old Masonic Hall. I suggested pounding the place to dust with the Marines' artillery and the cutter's guns, but Hoover wants Marsh alive. That's not going to be easy. 
The marines who attacked the main entrance to the building went into some kind of psychotic seizure before they could reach it. The brass thought Marsh had laid down some kind of gas in the area, but gas masks didn't help the second storming party. That was when Hoover remembered a report of an old smuggler's tunnel, close by the banks of the Mun... I don't know how to pronounce that, Munuxit River? That was said to lead into the building from below. It seems my good luck just never ends. With so many agents killed and wounded in the refinery, Hoover has decided that I'll have the dubious honor of representing the FBI in an attack through this secret entrance, in company with a squad of Marines. I have to meet up with a Sergeant Carter and his men by the refinery gates. Then we'll set out along the frozen river looking for the tunnel. I may never sleep again. Not that it would make much difference. The waking sounds and visions are getting worse all the time. Though, if they are linked with the events here in Innsmouth, maybe getting to the bottom of this horror will help me recover my lost memories. Like I said, this game goes places you would have never imagined. The Esoteric Order of Dagon. It, there's something very epic about it. I mean, the entire town has been placed under martial law. Have your men been able to determine of this old smuggling route? Not yet. Our intelligence estimates the most likely site would be further downstream. The Monuxit is frozen over, so we should be just fine on foot. Let's get moving. Move out, Marines! Secure the area! Yes, sir! I mean, look at this. Now, now I'm with Marines looking for a hidden tunnel. In a town that's been taken over by martial law. This game is just so cool. And trust me, it goes even further than this. Yes, it will go further and further and further. To places you could never imagine. Okay, well, before I continue, I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back, even crazier and crazier stuff is going to happen. The game basically just ramps up and up in its insanity. And I suppose your character's insanity wraps up, uh, ramps up as well. So yes, it gets even more interesting from here on out, and it's already been very damn interesting to me, even though I've already played this game at least twice. Alright, so I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.